Welcome back to Rink's Roundtable, and we have a crazy month of August that we have to recap, so let's get started. All right, let's just get right to it. The biggest race in the month of August, the biggest race in the history of the USMTS, the 25th anniversary Silver Jubilee at the Mason City Motor Speedway a couple of weeks ago. And it was an awesome, awesome week. Not only uh, were individuals inducted into the USMTS Hall of Fame, but Tanner Mullins went home to Wichita, Kansas with $25,000 and then some because of the laps he led. So you also had lap money in there, totaling just over $33,000 in his winnings. What a payday for Tanner Mullins and his company. So let's go take it back and look what happened during that week. The party got started right away on Wednesday night where Jake Tim went to victory lane for his qualifying feature. It was an awesome, awesome race between him, Derek Ramirez, and Tyler Wolf. Good through the middle. Ramirez got tight tripped up on the top part of the speedway. That puts your top three. Nose to tail into turns three and four. Tim trying to work the middle part of the racetrack. Ramirez still up top. Wolf following. Darwin Peru. Tim does dive to the bottom part of the racetrack. Doesn't slide it though. Ramirez up top. Side by side into turn three and four. Now Tim slides across the racetrack. Green flag out. Two laps to go. Ramirez tried now to get back to the inside, couldn't get there. Jake Tim out in front of the field. On Thursday night, Tanner Mullins, what else do I have to say? Off of turn two, down the back straight away. Through three and four. Absolutely annihilates the field here tonight. Tanner Mullins wins night number two of the Silver Jubilee. Friday night at Mason City Motor Speedway on Mulligan night, things got a little bit weird. The talk of the town, Jim Chisholm. He gave up his qualifying spot in order to try to best himself and start further up in the field, and he did just that. After Friday was all said and done, Chisholm earned the outside pole starting position for the three wide start on championship night. Even though Chisholm did get that qualifying position on the pole, he did not go to victory lane on Friday night. And that was Gary Christian, who went back to victory lane for the second time this season at the Mason City Motor Speedway. He'll see the white flag in the air. One lap to go for the driver at a broken bow, Oklahoma. Hasn't put a toe out of line all 25 laps thus far. For the final time, he'll hustle it down the back straight away. It's his second win this year here at the Mason City Motor Speedway. Tonight it's with the USMTS. Gary Christian gets it done behind the wheel of the 58X. All right, so that set the stage for championship Saturday night. And this feature had it all. We had lead changes, we had chaos, we had flat tires. It was an awesome feature. And at the end of the night, when the 78 laps were over, Tanner Mullins went to victory lane. Off of turn number four, Tanner Mullins comes to the white flag. One lap to go for the 0-2 out of Wichita, Kansas. Sets it to the middle part of the racetrack. He wants none of that fence in turns one and two. Through three and four the, for the final time. Tanner Mullins, you've got 25,000 reasons to smile. Off of turn four, Mullins wins the 25th anniversary Silver Jubilee. All right, so let's talk about last weekend. Let's begin with Deer Creek Speedway. What an outstanding USRA Hobby Stock feature event. When the current point leader was unable to maintain his position on the lead lap, the full season championship was up for grabs between Luke Sluter and Nick Schwebach. Oh, they're going to dive into the inside. Here we go. Whoa. Turn four, a little contact there as they come down the front straight away. It's going to be Nick Schwebach picking up the win. Luke Schluter will come home in second. Not only did Nick Schwebach win the Deer Creek Speedway Track Championship, but he also was crowned King of the Creek. Of course, we're close to September, so you know what that means? The USRA Modifieds are guaranteed to put on a show at Deer Creek Speedway. Take a look at the racing action from last Saturday night at Deer Creek. Hale started 12th in this one. And up look to the at third him spot. Go. Yeah, working that top side very well. Brandon Davis now going to enter the picture as well in the 50s. They come at you down the front straight away. 
these top five all tight. They're going three wide, briefly. Hale, look at Hale go. Where did he get this from? <laughs> Hale getting the shot. He was fast up on the top side of this heat. If you remember that 28 car, Parker Hale coming down to the outside of shot wow. trying to take over second. What a great race on this one. If that doesn't get you fired up for the Featherlight Fall Jamboree next month, I do not know what will. Speaking of the USMTS, the next time they race is going to be the Featherlight Fall Jamboree, and that is going to be on September 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. It is crazy to even think that we're even talking about the Featherlight Fall Jamboree, but we are less than a month away. If you have never been to the Featherlight Fall Jamboree, this is going to be the year to do so. If you have been to the Featherlight Fall Jamboree, I'm assuming and expecting you're gonna be back again. I cannot wait. It's unbelievable. The atmosphere is fantastic. Crown jewel of dirt modified racing right there at the Mecca of Modifieds and Deer Creek Speedway. Again, that's September 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. As we look ahead, uh, shortly after the Featherlight Fall Jamboree, it's USRA Nationals time in Wheatland, Missouri at the Lucas Oil Speedway. There will be a third year for the USRA National Championship Kickball Tournament. The coveted most prized possession when it comes to kickball right here at the Lucas Oil Speedway. So when that registration stuff gets available, make sure you sign up. There is going to be a limited amount of space for that this year. So uh, if you're planning on winning a national title in kickball, I suggest that you get your ducks in a row for when that time comes to sign up your team. But from the outside looking in, once again, I'm super excited about the Lucas Oil Speedway hosting the USRA Nationals. It's going to be an awesome time, of course, one of the nation's best uh, facilities when it comes to dirt track racing. And uh, every year it just seems like it gets a little bit better and better and better. And the quality of racing is through the roof. Some of the nation's top drivers, of course, they're battling for the USRA National Championship. And a lot is at stake at Wheatland, Missouri at the Lucas Oil Speedway. The dates for the uh, USRA Nationals are going to be October 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Again, Lucas Oil Speedway, the USRA Nationals. It's crazy that we're even talking about that too. Oh my gosh. That'll do it for Rinks Roundtable. Hope you guys had fun tuning in, catching up what happened in the month of August. As it's crazy that we're even talking about September and October, but I am so excited for what lies ahead. If you have not done so already, this is the time now to purchase a Racing Dirt subscription. There are so many events that are upcoming, not the, only the Featherlight Fall Jamboree. We have $10,000 to win stock car race at Deer Creek Speedway the week before. Holy moly, you have USRA Nationals, you have pumpkin races, arms. We have the American Sprint Car Series. You have so much to look forward to this fall, likewise with me. But that will do it for us here tonight. Hope you guys all have an awesome weekend. Happy September and enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend. Take care.